Mario 16 TV is cuz OP here back with another reaction this time I'm reacting to Adam and whack speak on Michael Rubin's comments on black people I believe he said something about black people not uh, always dragging each other down which I agree with it it's just was he the person to say it I don't know I guess we're gonna find out screen recording starting in three two one video playing now not necessarily saying like Wack is the expert, we talking about Michael but Rubens, I, think, well I was curious to see right what now. they had to say. Let's talk about it. So he goes on The Breakfast Club. He makes a statement, uh, basically defending Meek Mill. When I see the narratives of a really good friend of mine like Meek and people are trying to, again, if he was gay, which there's not one gay bone in his body, who cares? He continues, number one, if people want to be gay, it's 2024, who the F cares? Number two, there's not a gay bone in his body, so why do people lie about that? Why do people want to change the narrative mm -hmm. of a bet he made with me to hurt him? Ooh. Referring to a clip of the Philadelphia rapper doing bunny hops on a tennis court after losing a bet, that is one thing I've learned about, you know, look, I'm just being blunt because it's me. It's one thing I've learned about black culture that I don't like is that black hate on hate. So that starts going up on social media. Yeah, which I get what he's saying too, but I don't think it was necessary for you to videotape the bunny hopping on the court. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know if that was necessary. It could have just been your own bet. But at the same time, I don't disagree. I feel like we have a habit as black people of being like, well, only if they from our area, or only if they blah, blah, blah. We always have like a line where we stop. We don't just help people just because. And I, I can admit that as a black person. But at the same time, there's a lot of black people that go out of their way for people. So let's just say it's a case-by-case -case basis, just like with anything else. People are not Why really feeling it? making that statement. Okay, so before we get into the apology. Why did he apologize? Michael Rubin, <laughs> why did you apologize? This sentiment really did nothing is something wrong, that I've had countless black people basically say to me on this podcast. The truth can never be considered disrespect. But, 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 but I really just think he was so close to bro that he was just like, man, I don't want to see my friend being treated like that. So he just went out of his way to um, put himself in between, per se. Something about the black culture where people prefer to drag each other down rather than there elevate each other. There's such thing as black hate. Mm. There's a such thing of hate amongst all nationalities and races. But if we're just speaking on our urban culture, our urban street culture, our old urban entertainment culture, mm. all that, Michael Rubin, why did you apologize? Come on, bro. You are who you are. Okay. At the end of the day, you're... And by now, you should kind of know what it is. Everybody's looking for something to make a video of. Like real shit there's a little bit there's a little bit of well i won't even say a little bit i'll say it's like 50 50 50 percent of the time somebody's honestly making a video and another 50 percent of the time somebody trying to get their money up we'll call it 50 50 that, that's probably not the true percentage i'm assuming most people are trying to do the the what we would quote unquote the good thing 80 20 you know what I'm saying? Only bullshit 20% of the time. But I'm going to say 50-50 just, just in case my margin for error is messed up. Perception of it is based upon what you see, what you hear in music, the headlines you read of what, what's happening at the clubs, on the streets. When's the last time you seen the murder of a hip hop entertainer right. by the hands of somebody non black. Yeah, it really don't happen. Let's go back to the most notable Pac. But if we be in 100, just like anything else, there's probably something we could look at for the reason for that. Say you're in a community that was disenfranchised and you feel like the only way you can get up is through this community and for a long period of time entertainment was the only way people could get up a lot of fugazi things would happen i would think if there wasn't that much room to make it to the top once there's room to make it to the top it is less likely to happen now i will say with the situations that we have more often than not now like i said it's usually about money is Nine times out of ten, like Jay-Z stabbing bro in the neck, that was about, bro, you hurt me, right? That's not the type of shit that happens now. Most of the time now, it's a money grab. Like, I'm trying to get my money right. So, yeah. 
If that didn't make sense, we don't even know charge some. I don't even involved. say charge some. I have my put it in the comments. Famous killings, right? As recent, Julio, Dolph, Dolph, Draco, Draco. We could do this all day. No, we're not gonna fight too many whites. Michael involved. Rubin. Oh, I've never. Well, the point I was basically trying to basically make with that is, is like. I think when sometimes it looks like it's about black on black, and I think a lot of times it's more about money, you know what I'm saying, and poverty or survival mode or trying to get to the next step. And like a lot of times, like what happened to X, it was like, bro, he gonna have 15,000 open in the public by himself? Like what kind of reaction do you expect to get out of a person? Probably not a good one, just saying. At you, bro. Never bow down for something that you know to be true. Because he's reiterating conversations he's had in private. This yeah. is a fact. And he didn't say anything and wrong. Probably with black people. Okay. Th my one rebuttal to this would be, in the white community, they cancel each other left and right. You, you smack somebody's ass 10 years ago, we're going to use this as a reason to get you out of your uh, movie career shit. or whatever. I, I never up. thought about it like that. Thing. That doesn't really happen in the black culture nearly as much, but Meek Mill will be doing this bunny hop thing, which I also fully get do not understand why the bunny hop is even a thing. But then they'll like, like seeming in any way weird or gay can almost be used in a similar way. Okay, okay. can we agree right that academics is Jamaican for sure, and we classify Jamaicans as black people? Yeah, mm -hmm. who made? The accusations. Who went? They were born in America and lived here and was raised here. When all that shit went up. Academics. I would say that wasn't Ac coming from the top down though. That was the Twitter no, no. streets. No, Everybody no. was no, 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 going no. in on me. Hey, bro, put some respect on that name. If the Twitter streets is talking, that's one thing. For sure, he's the biggest one. No, no. Investy, but everybody was doing that. No, no. When Ac hmm. starts to say boom. It's a he big started, ass he like, started oh, like, I don't give a f if it's me, you, whoever, if academics says some shit, they're going to look at it. So what I'm saying is, academics is black. The shit that went oh, on Oh, he's saying basically because academics is a person that can be looked at for information that this would be black hate on hate because nobody would even know about the bunny hop shit if act didn't complain about the bunny hop i'm fucking with on his other comment though i only consider you black if you was born and raised here or at least raised here and when i say raised here i'm gonna go ahead and say 14 and up because by then you're at least acclimated a little bit anybody that came when they asked like 16 17 they still speak african like they still talk like that i literally know some people where like the oldest brother sound african the middle brother sound black and the youngest brother probably be like you feel me and all that he talks super american so buddy black older brother african Regardless of the point, I was going to make that point regardless. But you basically get the gist of what this video is about. There's more to it if you want to go wa watch the rest of it. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Go ahead and continue to like, subscribe, and share. Continue to fuck with me. Holler at me. Bye.